on a stadium. I'm gonna be real, I don't think we heard that one engine at all to start things off, but we're already getting off here, and I believe, AG, that this is gonna, gonna be an unfrozen stadium. Yeah, yeah, uh, you could already, like, the neutral or unneutral start, um, which is very funny, because guys, like, has complained about it, and then still just always runs up player one and four, <laughs> like, the same exact, like, situation every time, but, you know, Kind of feeling a little bit better here, really moving around the platform as well. The problem is, you know, Zangarang, a storied Marth for sure. If you get caught in the disadvantage, again, you're going to have a bad time. But right now, Gaia's just staying in the advantage. Nice little hit of the up air, a little Matt.Zeb action. I was going to say, Gaia's might, like, nice. Zangarang might be a story in Marth, but Gaia's already made one upset to make it this far. And it absolutely storming his way by, to start off the next one, finding the wave shine to start another combo. And I always like to say, if you can wave shine, Falco's your dream character. True. If you can't wave shine, find anybody else to play. Yeah, it's just one of those characters, like you watch a Falco move, and then if you're not a Falco aficionado, you pick up the character and you're like, wait, uh, what's going on? It's like, how does my Falco? Ooh, that was he, such a good follow. Dude, I, I don't. Like, the drop two to get the swing preemptively to then call you out with a full hop was right. so smart. And now you get the transformation okay. where Marth can really <laughs> get an off. Wait, it's awkward for Marth to really convert the stocks unless you miss your tech off the tree, in which case. They're even laughing, too, because like in that situation, you're like, I don't want to tech right. I don't want to get forward smash. So you tech left, and you get forward smash off the tree and then into the spot oh. where you would have been if you rolled right. I think Gaius is getting caught by a little bit of, of being ult brained right now. You see missing right. all of those techs in a row. And if you are used to teching in one game and you try to jump over to the other, it is incredibly difficult without a lot of warm-up. And we're seeing Gaius in the last set in this one as well drop most of them finally fun there, but definitely it's an adjustment that you have to keep note of throughout this set because Marth will take advantage. Okay. Does have some pretty good timing though on the up special. Unfortunately gets the air to air center stage guys with a three stock to one lead right now. Going back to neutral and you know now that you have this lead to work with those lasers are going to be even harder to deal with right because you can run away with them so instead of forcing the issue really good mix up right there the slide dog off di into the moonwalk on the pokeball was just absolute juice and the movement by Gaius. he is going to drop the stock doesn't get away from that tipper blade but does get the grab of his troubles and marth has to deal with you off stage get away from that down air because it's going to be utterly lethal if you cannot Gaius tries to make it so gets almost looks for the extension of the illusion but doesn't quite find it. Yeah, almost had it. A few frames. Oh, good tech chase opportunity here. Doesn't get his guess right, though. Okay, up, I love up air up tilt there. That's smart. And, you know, this is one of those matchups, AG, where I feel like the level of melee we are seeing benefits a character like Falco, a player like Gaius, hugely. Because Gaius's advantage states are all there, right? You can see that even though he's maybe not as clean and neutral as some of his opponents, you, he gets one or two advantage states, and he's blowing you up in those interactions to kill. Exactly, exactly. Everyone else we've seen in bracket so far has been playing a much more neutral focused game plan, playing a little bit higher on their interaction skill, and when you go up against a character like Falco, you just don't have that room to work with. So I like the idea here, though, going to Yoshi's. Talk about some room to work with. Maybe not as spacious, but still very effective. Almost hit that down here. It's going to be just the up airs kind of doing it instead. Get him attack. Hits after the delay. And very smart. And we talked, you know, about how good this stage can be for Falco, especially against Fox earlier on. But against Marth, almost the opposite holds true, right? right. Falco being so slow ha has a harder time getting away. And Marth was such a big sword and control a huge percentage of stage. However, it's still the explosive small blast zone for Falco that can be just so lethal, but you miss one hit and he will make you explode unless the Shy Guy comes in to save the day. That was also like such an odd hitbox earlier of that Dolphin Slash. I'm surprised it didn't take the stock, but the back air is going to do it. And what a turnaround from Gaius. That neutral air should even it up though. Back to three stocks apiece. And now the in-game cheer, the Falco coming out, Gaius. Even the game wants to see him make a run. He might not be a melee player on paper, but he is absolutely one in the hearts. In our hearts, you don't find the extension there, but the F smash, the call out, and gonna look with the edge guard just doesn't find off the dolphin slash. Wow, very slight miss right there. And then look at this reversal, already running it back. Dash tag though, a little shallow. 
Okay, good grab. Should be able to follow it up with that neutral air, maybe a forward smash. Give me the forward air instead. Good. It just, I love the follow right now. A lot of good pressure. Forward air, keeping up that pressure, jab and a down air. Or the dolphin slash, but they haven't been hitting, unfortunately. Yeah, the down air just, again, right, this pressure from from Gaia is so incredibly strong because these illusions, my friend, have been like a short stack of pancakes. They taste so good, they work so well, until there's just not enough of them to get quite as much as you want going. Ooh, okay, up till, up till forward to smash. Barely missed that side special punish, though. Going back to it, though. Look at that damage. Oh. Yeah, but again, here it is. Going for the down air there, an up air up special would have done it, but Guy is still cleaning it up regardless. 87% though, as you mentioned, AG. Percent climbing, one interaction now for Marth even to take the stock. Looking for the down tilt, gets the grab reset. This chase has been immaculate as Zangarang is waking up in this game too. Yeah, definitely a lot more comfortable. I love all of this offensive pressure we're seeing. The follow throughs have been lovely right there. Sneaking out of that combo. Two stocks to one now. A nice little lead in game two here. I honestly, ironically feel like from what we've seen so far, whoever wins the set wins the tournament. Yeah. Like these two players are playing so clean on their phantom states, on their chases right now, and still, you know, not sacrificing all that much for, on, on their neutral. Like Zangarang there, the movement, he's starting to really clean up his mistakes, and he's the first player we've seen starting to move cleanly, consistently here in Monitor Melee Land. Wow, what a pickup though. Up smash into shine on the top platform, guys, at 77. One of those signature advantage states could be it, but unfortunately, it is pretty much checkmate in that situation. I like the idea to go for the tech roll in to the right, but Zangrang was ready for a huge punish. Your, be <laughs> your best option there, unironically, might be uh, buffer neutral get up and then try and use your shine eye frame to yeah. get through the F smash. Because what else do you do? Or clank or something? Because. Anything else, as you mentioned, Marth, just from that positioning, covers every type of call, right. tech option with that forward smash. No matter how long you delay, it's just a wait on the action. But speaking of a wait, the wait's over here for game three AG. It's gonna be Falco, it's gonna be Marth, no changes around, and we're gonna end it all on Dreamlight. Great idea here. Oh, okay, counter. Those are so like few and far between, but they're all so perfectly timed. Those small gaps in the combos from guys, which we said was like, you know, the strong suit, really. It's, if you can kind of break up that momentum, it really changes the pace pretty drastically. But hold on now. Gets a shield up for the F-Tilt. I like the idea of the F-Tilt there to find the shield poke, but a grab reset there would have just been absolutely lethal. Again, Zangarang, who does get caught in the jab of his own, does find the grab though, now gets the juggle, looking for the chase, and finds the AG. Once again, that movement, even when it doesn't allow you to continue the advantage, it lets you get another chance at the stock, but Guy has been, has been so efficient in these situations to at least force the issue, if nothing else. Yeah, unfortunately though, over 100 on a get up is not where you wanted to be, and then get punished with the most spectacular oh, no. coast to coast forward smash. We've got the check chases. Oh, no. lock. he's not dropping them. He finds drops it there, but Gaius gets out in turn, and AG, these two players are pulling out all the stops. This is still best of three territory here in winners' quarters. I mean, this is the set on the line. Oh, okay. Down here, neutral air should do it here. We got a pretty solid edge guard. Yep. I was going to say, guys has been pretty good at those. I mean, there's some slight misses like the one we just saw earlier in the stock, but throughout the set, very good, very consistent. Up throw, up tilt though, setting up a real rough spot. Doesn't get the follow-up though, stuck on the platform ever so slightly. Another try at it, that's it. Yeah, you just, the modified 10 combo there after the get-up attack, pressure the shield, just super smart play from Zangarang, who now gets a reset off the short hop. Laser though disrupting and forcing the back off, reset to neutral, but one more interaction for him here could absolutely be the stop. Guy, as you know, is looking to find something explosive the way he has win or lose throughout the set, but that mole in has become a nasty habit. Yeah, unfortunately, and they're all scouted out by Zangarang too. Look at that platform chase, beautiful. Trying to sharpen the up air, maybe up till it goes back to center stage here. And you know, Zangarang has also been doing this very interesting thing. I'm just kind of like fading away. And finally, I think Guys is catching on to it. Yeah, you saw it Ooh. catching on there, as you mentioned, AG, with that tech chase. Yeah. But Gunna gets caught out. The slight overextension. This game is one of inches. And Zangarang is drawing no quarter. Does finally drop a tech chase there early. And if wow. you're Gaius after that miss, 
you have to take everything you can get. There is no margin for error if you want to stay on winner's side. Okay, I'm liking these air to airs now. Right there, I love that space around the neutral air gets the back air in, opens it up with the down air. Big throw here. Let's see what we can get going. <gasps> Lasers huge. Oh my god, small gap. Still keeping it up though. Okay, here you have this huge opportunity with the laser here. You have to get past the dancing blade instead of opting for the Marth killer. You're going for the aggressive or attempt to block the recovery with the ledge hog. Means like <laughs> it's gonna be guys getting put in disadvantage, missing that down air L cancel though is gonna give oh. Zangerang one more chance. He has to convert here, or Gaius could absolutely make something happen. Oh my good, uh, the side B, like getting a little bit of a hit was huge. Forward air, swatting the Falco away. Neutral air though, could lead into an edge guard. No, has to give it up. The jump was so brave. Finally, the back air hits down to the last stock. 10 guys bring it back on those combos. Neutral air is not what we're looking for. Hold on, no, he just did oh. wiggle out of tumble and Zangarang going down to secure it. He didn't need to do that, but it's not about what you need in melee. It's about what you feel deep right. inside. AG, this was an absolute banger set from the shield pokes, oh, yeah. from the pressure, the positioning. These two adapted on each other so well, and honestly, I think this was the best set we've seen so far tonight. It was a lot of fun, too. I, the, the crowd was loving it. The players were loving it. I could hear them through the headphones having a blast while they were going at it I, in each of the games. So. I understand going for those shine ledge resets there against yeah. the majority of the cast, but against Marth, right, you have the ability to light shield and wave and, and, and ledge trump there with that ledge dash just so consistently, but we just never really saw it throughout the set. And I think it's something that if we had seen from Gaius, as well as I think this being the turning point of the set as a whole, just taking that stock out, so incredibly fast. I mean, I, I feel like it could have gone another way. We just saw guys take a couple too many risks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I appreciate them. If they worked out, it would have been a totally different story. But it looks like, you know, after an uncomfortable game one, a slightly uncomfortable, Zhang Rang was able to just like find the composure, the confidence too, and bring it all the way back. So great stuff. Great stuff indeed. And 